What's up everyone? This is Jose Trujillo. Welcome to another live session. I will be doing a larger painting today. Those of you who want to hang out with me, here it goes. Okay, by the way, before I get started with this painting, I just want to remind you, if you haven't gotten one of my 16 by 20 oil on canvas commissions, this is the time to do it. Okay, I opened up another couple of, a couple of uh, places uh, to, um, to create these paintings. So, oh man, I dropped my brush. So in case you've been asking yourself, what do I get out of this? You know, out of this painting, what do you get out of this painting? This is a 16 by 20 inches oil on canvas that I'm gonna create. The painting is worth $1,200. It's a commission, right? The commissions are worth that. My commissions anyways. And uh, this size. And you can get it right now for 250 with free shipping anywhere in the US, okay? So if you want one, you can DM me. Let's get started. So I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about this painting, how I'm gonna get started. Uh, the way that I like to get started with this painting is that I like to draw first, okay? The whole thing is about drawing. It's all on the wrist, baby, okay? because it's loose brushwork. So, so I wanna start out by drawing. Let me give you a little insight also with, with, with uh, charcoal, compressed charcoal. For those of you who, who uh, want a little bit more insight on that. Look, I just want to doodle this, okay? If it's gonna be a landscape, I just wanna doodle it. I, I'm not rushed, but I am moving, okay? Some people think, oh my God, your paintings, your painting, you know, it looks like you're rushed. I'm not rushed, I'm just moving. I want to move, right? I want to move. Rush is, is like desperate. I'm not desperate, I want to move. That's all, I just wanna move. Because in the movement is where the creativity comes from. This is why Degas, the impressionist painter said, when you're moving, uh, when you don't know what you're doing, is that I, you're actually creating something good. They don't say when you're moving, I say when you're moving. But it's when you don't know what you're doing because you're moving, right? So. I don't know, I really have an idea what I'm doing. I just know that I want it to be a landscape. And of course, muscle memory and all kinds of stuff start playing in there. But look at that. Look at those trees. Ooh la la, baby, mucho François. By the way, by the way, this painting is, uh, man, this painting is going to be awesome. I just want to show you a little bit of that. Here, now that I did this, I want to get back with my brush. This is my number four brush. Those of you who are like, oh my God, I got to paint like Jose. Sure, why not? Go for it. Look, this is a number four round tip brush. Okay, here it goes. Look at that. Nothing is written in stone. I just, I just want to, or in or on stone, whatever. I just want to, look, it's black. You can use blue. You don't have to use black. You can use green. You can use red. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. I'm just used to using black. It works for me, but, but it doesn't matter. I used to use red. For years, I used blue. I used ultramarine blue. And then I changed, I switched uh, for the line work, right? I switched to phthalo blue. Uh, so look, you're gonna watch me use blue. Look, it doesn't matter what you use. Now you're gonna watch me use red. It doesn't matter what you use. What matters is that is that you're doing the work. Okay, that's what matters the most. So look at that. And now again, because nothing is serious, okay? Nothing is serious. The only serious thing there is, is the discipline. The work is not serious. My discipline is very fucking serious. But the work is not, okay? The work is not. And the reason why my discipline is serious because, because my livelihood depends on it and my family's, right? So the discipline has to be serious, but the work doesn't have to be serious. Look at that. I just gave you a million dollar <laughs> career tip right there you can take it or leave it literally a million dollar career tip i'm not even joking about that one look at that boom look at that Ooh la la mucho francois now i'm going to go into it with one of these brushes this is a flat brush okay this is a number 10 flat brush i keep it simple look guys this these are the tools that i use 90 percent of the time these three brushes okay and every now and then i'll, 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 I'll pull out a palette knife Okay, because I don't I don't want it too complicated. I don't I don't want to be looking for brushes and oh my god I I don't want it. look if you're building something. This is something that I saw 
if you're building something, you want as less pieces as possible. You don't want so many pieces. So many artists get, get frustrated because, because, you know, I can't find the right brush. Look, all of my brushes are the same. It's less pieces. Okay, there, there's less pieces in there because less pieces mean that I don't complicate it so much. I don't want to complicate it. Okay, so here we go. Look at that. Look at that. Let's start painting these trees. Oh, mucho bueno. Mucho, mucho. Very good, baby. Check it out. Now, some people have a hard time when it comes to creating this type of paintings, this loose brushwork. And I'm going to tell you why you have a hard time. You're not doing it enough. Okay, that's why you have a hard time. Once you start putting in time, you won't have a hard time. You're going to go like, like you're going you're gonna to start getting into Newton's law of motion. Okay, the principles of motion. You're going to you're gonna start getting into that. I can't teach you that. I can only tell you about it. But you're the one who's going to experience it if, if you put in the work. Okay, look at that. Look at that. I want to put it. I want to put a little bit of fuchsia in there. But what I love about fuchsia is that when you when you mix it with yellow, it gives you like this very strong, almost uh, almost brick earth tone. It's not right if you get close to it. This is what I love about impressionistic uh, approach, because it's a colorist approach. Right, the impressionistic approach was very much taken from 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 the colorists and the and the um, the romantics. Right, a lot of it was taken from the romantics and the colorists, like like Delacroix, and and you know the romantics Turner and all the other guys, Constable. It was taken from those ideas, you know, the, the, because they were trying to create emotion with movement and color, movement and color. And so how do you do that? You, you, you start applying color directly. Right? And you do very little mixing. You don't have to do so much mixing. I mean, you can if you want, but you don't have to do so much mixing because you're, you, you're starting to understand the, 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 the value of color by itself. And you can apply it in different areas as you wish. Right? You start utilizing the value of the color straight out of the tube straight out of the tube yeah there it is look at that boom baby now again i want to remind you those those of you who haven't gotten one of my commission paintings one of my commission specials i opened up two spots for the commissions so if you i have to open them briefly because then i get flooded and, and then i can't i can't fulfill them quick enough Okay, some people need them, need them a little faster than others. Some people want them for birthday presents or, or special events that are, you know, that have a, a deadline. And so I have to make sure to, to provide that for them. But I've opened up two spaces, two spots for commissions. If you want a commission, this painting, this, this commission painting costs $1,200. If you want a commission, now some people are scratching their heads and they're like, well... How come your, your auctions? Because those are winnings, okay? You're winning an auction. You're not buying it from me. You're winning it. An auction is completely different. Besides, an auction is not a commission. A, a, a commission is a custom piece. It's very different. It's something that I created specifically for you. I think I'm spitting all over the place here as I'm talking. Check it out. Mmm, ooh la la, mucho bueno. So the painting costs $1,200, okay? But you can get it for 250 with free shipping anywhere in the U.S. If you're not in the U.S., please contact me first and tell me where you are, and we'll figure out shipping for you. But uh, but if you're in the U.S., I'll send it to you for free, right? I mean, the painting's not free. The painting's 250. The painting barely covers my my my. It doesn't even cover my time, guys. I'm not even joking with that. The painting barely covers my materials. Okay, it doesn't cover my time. The reason why I'm doing this is because I want more people to have my original works. That's why I'm doing this. Uh, I, I'm, I'm committed to getting my works out into the hands of people. People who love it, right? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want people who don't love it to get my commissions. So that's, that's, that's one of the things, that's one of the, one of the prerequisites, let's call it that. You, you must absolutely love my work. Please, like, don't try to get a commission if you're, if you're unsure of my work. Uh, you can go with someone else. You can buy it somewhere else. This special is for people who love my work, okay? If you love my work, then you can get it for 250 If you don't love my work, then I, I don't know what to tell you, you know? There's plenty of artists out there. 
Check it out. Look at that. Ooh, mucho bueno. People are like, well, I don't love your work. Okay, then. You know, some people do. I don't know what to say about that one. Some people do. I cannot please everybody. Some people love it. Some people hate it. I am talking to the people who love it. Look at that. Ooh, mucho bueno. Look at that. Isn't this beautiful? I think it is. Look at that. See? See, there's nothing rushed about it. I see a lot of people out there, they're trying to do loose brush work and it looks rushed and it looks, I mean, whatever, right? I, who am I to say? I've, I've had my days like that. But but you want to practice not, not being rushed. You want to practice just, you know, just, Man, whatever it takes you, it might take you, it might take you 10 days to do a painting. It's okay. Don't rush it. Let it cook. You know, it might take you 10 hours. It might take you one hour or, or whatever, 15, 20 minutes. Like it takes me sometimes. Sometimes it takes me a little longer, but, but it doesn't matter. I don't really care. I'm not looking for the time. I'm looking to paint it and to paint it fully, to be here. Right, to be here right now, baby. Look at that. Oh, mucho bueno, mucho artista. Look at that. Now I'm mixing a little bit of, of that of that green and the yellow cad, right? I'm mixing a little bit because I want to kiss it. I want to kiss it. Right? Rather than putting highlights of just pure yellow, why, why would I do that? It's too boring. I want to kiss it with a different color and act as if those are the highlights. Why not? I sound like Bob Ross when I, when I whisper, happy little trees. Look at that. Look at that, baby. Mucho bueno. All right, so now I'm gonna start painting the sky. Some of you have asked me, do you leave the sky last and why is that? You can see that I left it last. Why is that? Because I don't wanna be fighting. Handling paint, for those of you who don't know, it's very difficult, guys. It requires years of practice. It's very difficult to handle paint. Uh, and, 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 if you, and if you start doing layers and layers and layers, this is where people start getting those very muddy colors that they don't like. I love muddy colors, but you have to know how to use them. And where, right? For you. It has to work for you. And so, so if you're just layering stuff without understanding certain little principles, right? That work for you. They don't have to be universal principles. Things that work for you. Right? For me, it makes total sense to do this. Sometimes, very, very few times, I'll do the background first. It makes sense to do the background first, but there's a reason why. And I also calibrate... Right, I calibrate, believe it or not, some people don't think that I calibrate my paintings, but I do, very, 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 very subtle, right? How much paint I'm applying in the first coat, in the underpaintings, if I'm going to do the background first, I calibrate how much paint I'm applying, how thick is my paint, and if I put something on top of it, right, how thick that's going to be. Is it going to just, is it going to be as thin as the first layer or am I going to put more, a little bit more of impasto? Oh, I'm throwing those, those, uh, those artsy, fartsy words. You know, am I going to, is, is the paint going to be a, a lot thicker, right? Or, or am I going to do a, a, a something very soft, almost like a, here goes another one of those cool words, esfumato, baby. Is it going to be an esfumato? No, maybe not. I don't know. It might just be, man, I, I, I love showing off like weird words from the art crowd. Like people won't think they're like different and whatnot, right? They're like, there's nothing, there's nothing different about those words. I know those words. Yes, because you're an artist. Most people don't know them. You're, you're, you're a geek, right? You, you, you read about that stuff all the time. Most, most people don't. Most people don't know what impasto is. Most people don't know what esfumato is, right? Most people don't know what tonalism is or, or any of that kind of stuff. Most people don't have, don't have an idea loose brush, any of that stuff. Most most people don't. Unless you're an artist and you've been doing it for a while or you like to, you're, you're a nerd, right? You like to read about that kind of stuff. I'm a total nerd when it comes to that kind of stuff. Not anymore, I used to be more. Look at that. Mmm, mucho bueno. See? Look at that. 
And I, I, I like the painting to paint itself. I know it sounds weird, but, but really I like it to paint itself. Meaning the painting asks, it's guiding me, right? It's almost like it's guiding me. It's telling me, now this, now that. I'm, I'm not really... That, that's why you can't think about it so much. You apply certain principles that you've learned. Muscle memory kicks in. But, but then you have to kind of let go, right? You have to kind of let go. And, and you have to... I mean, you don't have to, but, you know. Oh. A palette knife. Some little branches right here. You know, plein air painting, painters love using the palette knife to create little branches and whatnot. Because it's fun, right? It's fun. Look at that. It's, it's a lot of fun. Start creating all kinds of fun stuff. It's super kick-ass. Look at that. Oh, mucho bueno. Now I start doing all kinds of funky little stuff, you know? But it goes with my style. It might not go with yours. Don't try it. Don't try it at home, kids. But, but it goes with me. It's, it's, it's the way I paint. Oh, bueno. You know, I'll bring out the other, the other brush, right? I'll bring out the other brush, and I'll start playing with that as well. This is oil. This this is oil on canvas. Look at that. Isn't that cool? I love this. You believe it? I get paid for this? Like a dream come true, man. Sometimes I have to pinch myself and realize that I'm getting paid for this. After like 20 years, right? <laughs> That's what happens, right? After like 20 years of trying, uh, trying to get paid for it. Look at that. certain little things that are happening around town that's how it is so again guys if you haven't gotten your commission painting from me this is the time to do it there's two spots available i won't take more than two right now okay so so i'm i'm, I'm not even joking about that because it takes so much effort out of my day too i know that some people are like well so much effort like you paint them so quick <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> that's not the only thing I do guys I do other stuff so I don't just I don't just do commissions I do coaching calls I do all kinds of other fun stuff now and so look at that oh what's your brain look at that this is this is like this is this is this is higher <laughs> I think I need some coffee. I'm, kind of, I'm talking all kinds of nonsense. <laughs> Cheers. Salud. Salud. Look at that. There it is, guys. Anything more than that, I'll be showing off. And I don't want to show off anymore. So again, my name is Jose Trujillo. This painting is not available. I apologize for that. This painting is a commissione. It's a commission. If you want a commission, uh, let me know. And DM me. Send me a message if you want a commission. Remember, the painting is... The value of the painting is $1,200. Any other time you don't take it when I'm doing the special, uh, you... I don't know. You either pay the twelve hundred dollars, or you wait till till there's a there's a spot open. Right now, there's two spots open for the commissions, and the painting is is uh, priced at two hundred and fifty. The painting is valued; it's worth it's twelve hundred dollars, but it's priced at two hundred and fifty dollars. You can get it. Uh, you, well, not this one. You can get your own, right? It's commission, so you you have to order your own. But. Uh, there's only two spots open right now. The turnaround is about three weeks right now. Uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to hurry, but I can't really hurry because you can't hurry these things, right? You just can't. You got to take your time with them. So, 
Take care, guys. Thank you so much. And I will talk to you soon. Adios.